Iran has witnessed several days of riots. Last Thursday, people in several Iranian cities, including Mashhad, held peaceful protests to urge officials to do more for the living conditions of ordinary Iranians. Shortly afterwards, those gatherings changed course as some protesters began to damage public property and armed elements showed up among ordinary people. The reaction from Iranian officials was quick. President Hassan Rouhani said the nation would deal with a small and minority group of rioters and lawbreakers exploiting the protests against economic conditions. Leader of Iran's Islamic Revolution, Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei, says the enemies are using various tools to hurt the Islamic establishment. And Secretary of Iran's Supreme National Security Council, Ali Shamkhani, has blamed the United States, Britain and Saudi Arabia of being behind the recent riots. Uh, so foreign powers such as the United States, Israel, as well as Saudi Arabia have been very open about the fact that they want to create instability in Iran. Based on our analyses, around 27% of new hashtags against Iran are generated by the Saudi government. Since the beginning of the riots in Iran, various U.S. officials have made meddlesome remarks. Uh, Donald Trump has been supporting the riots very openly in the past few days. Netanyahu has been giving out video messages. And a person like Mohammed bin Salman, the Saudi crown prince, a few months ago he said that he will take the war to the Iranian street. Speaker of the House of Representatives Paul Ryan, Senator Lindsey Graham, Senator Tom Cotton, Vice President Mike Pence and President Donald Trump are among some of the U.S. officials expressing their support for the rioters. President Trump has been one of the most vocal. He has posted various tweets praising the rioters. Just a few months ago, the U.S. president described Iranians as a terrorist nation. The contradiction speaks volumes. He has called on numerous occasions uh, Iranians in a derogatory term, such as calling the Iranian nation and not even the Iranian government, but I should be um, more specific, he said the Iranian nation is a terrorist nation. And now in the past few days, he has suddenly made a U-turn and come out and said that he supports uh, the movement of the Iranian protesters. The United States has a long history of meddling in Iran's internal affairs. During the 2009 riots, Washington played a destructive role through its support for rioters. And back in 2002, former President George W. Bush described Iran as an axis of evil. Israel has also supported the unrest. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has wished success for Iranian protesters, calling on European countries to stand up against Tehran. Over the past few years, Saudi officials have taken a confrontational approach against Iran. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has openly talked about taking the battle inside Iran. Riyadh is openly supporting terrorist groups against Iran. Uh, so a country like Saudi Arabia sees Iran as its main regional rival in causing instability in Iran from the point of view of the Saudis is beneficial for them because it weakens a very important regional rival, and they have been very open about this. Saudi Arabia has lost a battle in Iraq, Syria, and Lebanon, and is bogged down in a feudal war in Yemen. Riyadh's support for the rioters is a desperate attempt to create unrest inside Iran to cover up its losses elsewhere. <laughs>